I'm happy to have this chance of speaking to you today. Of course, I would have much preferred to do it in person in the same room, but this is the, t the world in which we live now and uh, we're surely privileged to have uh, the technology. I'm honored and grateful to receive this Outstanding Contribution Award from Chambers for my work as an arbitrator. Actually, to be entirely honest, uh, the news that I was selected came somewhat as a shock at the time in my career when I'm still learning and trying to improve every day. So I decided that I would uh, not take this award as a pretext to rest on my laurels, but rather as an encouragement to continue to work hard uh, on doing a good job. I would not have had the career I had so far without the support of so many with whom I shared not only interests and projects, but also values and passion. The members of my firm LKK and prior firms, fellow arbitrators, arbitral secretaries, colleagues, students, research assistants in academia, friends and colleagues in arbitral organizations and institutions all over the world. There are too many for me to identify them all, and it would be unfair to name just a few, but all of those I have in mind will recognize the, themselves. This award is theirs as much as it is mine. Since 1981, when, uh, 40 years ago, I was involved in my first international arbitration. The world has changed, and so has this international dispute settlement. It has expanded drastically. Disputes have grown in number, become more complex, reached into new fields. While providing fair and efficient dispute resolution remains the ultimate goal, and by the way, this goal has been the essential driver of my career. The means to achieve the goal must constantly be revisited and adapted to the changes to meet the demands of the users, be they multinationals, uh, SMEs, states, or SOEs. One of the foremost adaptation that is required nowadays consists in increasing diversity. If arbitration claims to be the dispute settlement method for economic disputes worldwide, it must be diverse and inclusive. It cannot remain pale, stale, male at his hat, as it has been for decades, or else it will lose its credibility and acceptability. Diversity covers many aspects of human dignity. For purposes of dispute settlement, what matters most is gender diversity and regional diversity, which stands for race, ethnicity, culture, religion, level of development. By now, there's a strong awareness about the need for gender diversity in the industry. Even if it is too slow, even if it still requires continued support, progress is happening. The same is not true of regional diversity, for which significant efforts are called from all actors in the years to come. As a female arbitrator, I'm happy to accept this award not only in my personal name, but also as a member of one of the underrepresented groups in international arbitration, in the hope that this recognition will enhance diversity in the field. And with this hope, I would like to close by repeating my gratitude to Chambers and thanking you all for listening.